I like some of these stories. Hey, what's up? Yeah, they're good. Hey. Hey. You made yourself comfortable? Dude, absolutely, bro. <laughs> Socks. Comfortable seat, man. <laughs> That's awkward. Uh, anybody eating? You good? Come yeah, man. Water. You, know Beer, man you know what? You know what? You ready? I think I am pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did you get any stories? Yeah. Hope you got some good ones, bro. Thanks, dude. Yeah. The last one was really funny. You guys did great on it. Appreciate yeah. your opinion. Yeah, me, me and Weber were going over the stuff here, and uh, it's like... Um, what do you mean you and Weber were going over the stuff? What does that even mean? Hey, I we thought were, we went over stuff out of here. He's not, we're going yeah, over what do you mean you're going over the stuff, though? Before you, you got here. Thanks for my beer, Joe. Oh, uh, you need one? Yeah. He said yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you really need one? Yeah, please, yeah. It'd be great, man. Yeah, yeah so... One. Crack it open, too, please. Yeah, of course I'll open it. Mm-hmm. So Joe, I got I got three. So if in case I, because I, I figured maybe you wouldn't have time to get any. So I got three stories. Yeah, my story is weak, but it's all. I'd rather use one of yours as well. Paper right. here. Did you get a? Uh, yeah, that's one of yours. Did you get a fact? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I got that. That's the most important thing. Yeah, right? well, yeah, exactly. The end. I think three stories is far. I think like the last video, yeah. the three stories was plenty. You set up ready to go, huh? Oh yeah. Well, you know what that means. That's exciting. What's that mean? Special yeah, character's coming back, dude. Oh, oh uh, yeah, I know, I know. We haven't seen that character in a long time. But uh, I'm no, I got, I got three stories. Um, one's so you about just made yourself at home, take your shoes off, hang out. But this, I feel it's weird that you don't have your shoes on, though. It's only common courtesy to take your shoes off at the yeah, front he door. Yeah, to take them off as soon as he gets home, and yeah, so he doesn't track any dirt. It's not a Chinese restaurant, dude. I don't understand. Oh, by the way, off. did you clean the bathroom out today? Dude. My gosh! I didn't want to say anything, Larry, but yeah. Wow, what? That, yeah. I've never seen him hold it. Since wait, I, wait, wait, that's weird. Wait, what do you mean? You cleaned his bathroom? Yeah. That's no, weird. Did you I've piss never on seen it that clean. It was nothing, Joe. Did you piss it on the floor or something? Did you miss the toilet? No. Then why would you clean another person's bathroom? Because when your friend's letting you stay at your house, you take care of it to make up for his inconvenience. It's called common courtesy. It, I'll tell you what. Huh. That's that, interesting. It's. Yeah. I got. How did you clean in between the like the so so the, the false, you, what is that? You called? want to know my secret? Yeah. Baking soda, spigot, or vinegar, faucet. and Q-tips. This guy for real? Wow. He's got you. Got to mess with me right now. Call me Joe, a little I've, Mikey homemaker. I've never seen. No, I'm not gonna call you. I, that's ridiculous. I've never seen you? my bathroom that clean since I redid the whole. You thing. don't find it odd that he cleaned your bathroom? No, it's clean. I appreciate that he cleaned my bathroom. No, I'm, I think no, I think it's nice. I think it's just weird though. I would never. That grosses me out. Cleaning somebody else's bathroom, Joe. It's not like you've been, been here for like months. Like Joe. if I did it, I would understand. I've been here peeing in the toilet, pooping in the toilet, showering in the bathroom. I get like me cleaning the bathroom, but I mean, it's just weird. You're cleaning something. That's just, it's just gross to me. Joe, you wear gloves at least. I've been here for a week. Not those yellow ones, but Joe. I've been here for a week. I've used the man's shower seven times. I've used his for seventy minutes, right? No, I took ten to well. He hasn't. Listen, listen, listen. Ten, ten to fifteen shower, minutes. I won't lie, Joe. Ten to fifteen minutes, oh, but it's, it's funny still, now. It's ten to fifteen. Next week will be, it's still, be fifteen to twenty. I don't know he of takes, what you're doing. He takes them after I get. Next week will be fifteen. He leaves 20. after I do, so it's, yes. And, so and the bathroom's clean, right, Larry? That's the cleanest I've ever seen the bathroom. Uh, I never let the bathroom a mess. I always. In the, I shaved. I, I got. I thought this room might be a little messy where I was staying, but when I was the common areas were always clean. For I me. didn't say that you left it a mess. I'm just saying. I know. I'm just letting you know that I. No, he just. I'm just saying. He, what do you? Where did that hair, hair come from, Joe? I've been growing it for. I mean, a year. Like <laughs> where a year, has all this hair come from? Like a Joe? year and a half. I've been growing this for a long time. Oh, I don't understand what you're talking about. They're here in the bathroom, Joe. Well, he's saying not from you because you're bald. Obviously. Well, I don't know, maybe from Tom. I don't know why you did it. Tom. Tom? 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 Bloody Tom? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said your name with that, Tom. I'm sorry. That was so weird, you, right? You, you, I'm all worked up. So you, I'm all worked up. Listen, listen, English listen, accent Joe, now. That's Joe, amazing. Listen. I've been here just a little bit. You were here for months upon months. You're back at home now. Everything's great for you. Why are you raining on my parade? Uh... It is great. Oh, that, that must be Kevin.
Yeah, I don't know. What's hey, wrong with him, man? I don't, I don't, uh, don't sweat it. Yeah. So, I mean, we got... Really, I know. I know. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I think we got the three. Let me help you put the swords. Yeah. So the one's about sharks. Oh, I see. So, um, do you find it weird that Weber all of a sudden oh, is trying to move Weber? in no, to Larry's house? Is that not odd at all? I mean, it's a little strange. Yeah, shut up, you're saying. Yeah. It's not just strange, dude, but it's, it's suspect, right? Like, I understand I was here for a while. Like, I get that. But I had to be. I had nowhere else to go. Like, he, I. It, I didn't know my wife was gonna keep me out of the house. Yeah. I didn't know my lease was gonna run up. Isn't that I mean, weird? I thought it was odd last week, like when he was putting this on Larry. I mean, it, it just came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, and not yeah. only right after, I just left. Like, I literally just left. It was awfully convenient. Like, he didn't even get a chance. Like, almost like he was waiting for this to happen. I, mean, I think it's weird, dude. I think there's something else. I think he's got ulterior motives. I'm I'm just, I mean, I've been feeling that from him. Since day one, I mean, I gave him a shot. Like you, you were like, no, I, you were like, you two are awfully chummy. Oh, well, which, I'm sorry, I get a little jealous. Like, you remember boy I brought you in the situation? I was just trying to accept out. one of Larry's friends at that no, point. I get it. I and get I was it. like, all right, it seems like a pretty. Like I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but now I get the more that. I got to know him, I was like, this dude's got like, dude, I, I just feel like he's got like, angles. He's got yeah, he's got that salesman mentality to him where he's like, is he telling the truth? Or is he trying to sell somebody on something? Trying and to convince somebody. Of it something? was so weird last week when he was like bringing us up to Larry, and he was like, "Why would he do it in front of me?" That is weird. Like, why would like, he that early? Or something done like he should have pulled Larry aside and be yeah. like, "Dude, like they couldn't or, even do it before." It was like, and then the dude that has his bag packed. That dude, <laughs> that's suspect, right? <laughs> dude, dude, that very good. Like, like he assumed Larry's all yeah, like, Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on in the house. Like, he's obviously taking advantage of it his was, friend. It was totally odd. It like was for totally me, odd. I didn't want to live here. I had to live here. And it's, it's not like, my place at all because I mean it's Larry's boy. It's no, like, I get that. No, I, I, and I that's how I, I got kind of walk on eggshells because I mean I feel like that he has got something out for me from day one. But oh, most that, definitely. That's, I mean, just, that's just how I feel, and I could be being sensitive. You know how I get. Right, I guess that's about I've stuff. always thought that he's just kind of felt he wants to be to Larry what you are to Larry. Me, but if that makes sense. No, it does. No, that's exactly how I feel. But, but you know how I get—I get sensitive about stuff, right? I think somebody's. Oh, most definitely. I mean, you grow up being there where you get that kind get of mad when I don't call you in like a day. Or I don't get mad. I understand that sometimes you don't have your phone, right? I get that. <laughs> but the problem is when I know you have your phone, I text you. But it's neither here nor there. But I just think he came here. The timing of it is weird. All of a sudden, the perfect time I get back in my house, and all of a sudden his lease is up, yeah. just like that. Yeah, that's seems suspect. the timing is. It's for everything to fall in line so for perfectly. Him. Like, come on! And then he has other options. It's not like this is his last option. I had nowhere to go. I can't uh, come stay with you and your kids. You I know wouldn't even know where this guy came from. Like he was just like. Well, they. He just showed up one day. It was like, yeah, hey, they've been, been like we're boys from the past. They've been friends for for a while. I don't know how they reconnected. To be honest with you, and you're right. That's a great question. Like, how did they reconnect? Like, I don't know if all of a sudden I mean, maybe he saw him like on YouTube or something. And I think he's just a little bit of a stalker myself. I, I don't know. I, I know uh, they've so been like, friends for a long time, and I know they were friends. I mean, Larry and I are a little different story. We've been friends for forever, but Weber's been around for a while, so I mean, I get that. But what I don't understand is that, like, I can't fault Larry. Larry just wants to help his boy out, right? And this. He believes what his friends are saying. Like, I, I can't fault him because he. Same thing with me. Like, I could have been lying on the whole time. Maybe, but the, he just assumes that his friends are going to tell them the truth, right? So he's just like a good dude. He's always like, all right, why did my boy lie to me? He needs my help. I'm going to help him. Like, but I feel like that he could have done something else. There's a different reason why he can't. Even if his lease was up, right? Even if that is yeah. real. All that is real. Why does he have to come here, though? I think it's weird. Why would you well, live in the living room? Well, I'll play devil's advocate and be like, maybe he saw how open Larry was to you. And just assume maybe he can fit, you know, because he, he would do it for me. Why would he do it for him? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how tight they really are. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, he's kind of like a girl. Like, is he trying to seem like, well, he would do it for Joe. Why wouldn't he do it for me? And that kind of sure. And that that's what I'm kind of looking at. And maybe, maybe he maybe he's sincere. I mean, maybe like I don't know. Maybe we should give him the benefit of the doubt. No, I'm not. I, Maybe you should do. I, I understand <laughs> what you're saying. I mean, you're not. I, I get it, dude. I'm, I'm just trying to see both no, no. sides. And, and, well, that's what you do. You're always that guy. You, you know, you you just want to get. I I I understand what you're saying, and I I appreciate what you're doing. And you're trying to give me a better perspective of the situation. I, I am. And I know it, that you're just like you're more concerned for Larry than like you're like, dude, Larry. 
I mean, I'm concerned for Larry, but there's just part of me that's like... And Larry's a big boy. He can take care of dude? himself. Like, who's this dude? Why is he coming here? <laughs> this, like, I get it. Some of it is... It's suspicious. Right, well, let's, let's hurry up again. He's suspicious. Steve, I know. There's no doubt about being suspicious. Yeah, I thought we were just hanging on that. You hit me up with that. Well, I, that was yeah. so awkward, dude. It's a handshake. I don't know why you're trying to pound me. I don't know. I thought we were going to bro out. Freezing. What do you think, Tom? It's Kevin. I mean, honestly, yeah, I've got Kevin. a good thing going with this. Because, you know, Weber has offered to do things like he said he's going to power wash the basketball court for me. That's that's a pretty big deal. I've been on that I mean, for a while. He said he's helped me out with it's a lot worse than Joe ever offered. It's the worst thing ever, right? Yeah, well, exactly. So yeah, I'm not just the boat of him staying here. I mean, I feel bad for Joe. I mean, I think maybe he's a little jealous. Yeah. Yeah. Butt hurt. I mean, just I don't know. Yeah.